Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Ram's Life channel guys. Today's video is the first video of the ground report series and in today's video I am going to talk about the job openings forecast for the Saskatchewan for up to 2023. So without any further ado, let's get started. An estimated 98,200 jobs are forecast for the Saskatchewan up to 2023 and most of these op job openings are due to the retiring large number of workforce and some of the job openings are due to the economic growth of the Saskatchewan. So because of this two reasons number of vacancies are going to come in the future and the forecast is up to 2023. Due to COVID-19 pandemic nowadays all the job openings are postponed and because of that I think that we haven't seen so many job openings in the Saskatchewan uh, in 2020 and at the end of the 2019 but in the future hopefully when this pandemic is going to be over we will see these job openings soon in the market but in this video guys I am going to give you the detail analysis because we don't have to be so much happy by knowing that 98,200 job openings are going to come in the market because this is just a forecast but the main thing that we are going to focus is that in which sectors actually these job openings are going to come in the market that is really important because uh, that is going to define actually the top five sectors of the Saskatchewan for the coming years and one another thing that I am going to focus is the top occupations with the sectors we have to also see the occupations in which occupations these jobs are going to become so that occupation is defined by the skill level worker semi-skilled level worker and unskilled level worker so maybe there are a number of job openings but what if the job openings are on the worker level rather than the supervisor or the manager level so all these questions we are going to define uh, but before that we are going to see the top sectors in which these job openings are going to come with that sectors I am going to give you the top 5 occupation related to particular sectors in which these job, job openings are going to come in the market so let's proceed guys first of all guys let's talk about the details of the forecast the forecast is actually based on the Saskatchewan Ministry of Finance 2019 and 2020 budget assumptions and the output data from the Saskatchewan occupational modeling system guys also the industries that means the sectors that I'm going to give you in details are categorized based on the report with the Statistics Canada's labor force survey industries which are based on the NAICS that is actually the North American industry classification system 2020 guys and one more thing interesting thing that we should know is that forecasted data reflects current and expected economic conditions at the time of the development of the forecast that is in the spring 2019 and are subjected to market and market uncertainties guys one more thing that we should focus is that the forecast does not reflect the current openings or current vacancies and also it does not distinguish between the full-time and the part-time jobs availability guys so guys number one sector is a trad that is wholesale and retailer sectors in the figure you can see guys that the expansion and replacement graph because of that graph you can get an idea about how many numbers of vacancies are going to be available due to the expansion and how many numbers of vacancies are going to be available because of the replacement almost 16,600 jobs are going to be available in this sector guy, sectors guys and if we talk about the top five occupation with the most job openings in these sectors then retail and wholesale trade managers retail salesperson cashiers store self stockers and material handlers guys the second topmost sector is healthcare and the social assistance sector sector guys healthcare sector is always in on demand in the canada not only in the saskatchewan guys uh, so in the graph you can see the number of vacancies and almost 13200 job vacancies are due in these sectors up to 2023 guys and the top five occupation in these sectors are mostly the registered nurse and the some related uh, nurses childhood educators and the home child care providers social and community service workers guys so yesterday i was talking with some one of my subscriber and she was asking about the child care education so 
uh, with this you can get an idea about how good opportunities are available in this sectors guys so guys number three is the agriculture almost all 8300 jobs are forecasted in this sectors and you can see in the graph that, that this sector is does not have any expansion but there is a contraction and because of that uh, like 100 number of jobs are reduced in this but most of the jobs are due to the replacement of the retiring worker guys and the top five occupation in this sectors are managers in the agriculture general farm workers accounting technician and the bookkeepers transport truck drivers and managers in the horticulture guys let me give you some information about the agriculture in the saskatchewan guys saskatchewan is actually uh, contributing the 40 percent of the farmland in the canada's economy and we can say that uh, around 46.7 million acres farmland is here in the saskatchewan which is really really big number guys and one more thing is that saskatchewan is a leading supplier of the agriculture product for so many developing countries guys so agriculture is actually the top most sector in the saskatchewan guys. number four guys is the education sectors education services and almost 7100 job openings are there in this sectors guys and the top five occupations are elementary school teachers secondary school teachers and the principal and some other related jobs over there guys number five guys number five is the transportation and the warehouse sector guys and you can see over here is that 6800 job openings are there and the top five occupation in these sectors are mostly the drivers transport transport truck driver bus driver taxi driver material handlers and the managers in the transportation guys so these are the top five sectors of the saskatchewan by doing the analysis of this forecast done by the ministry of the finance in this from the saskatchewan government we can have idea about the top five sectors of the saskatchewan but still one more sector that i'm going to talk about over here because that sector is also very important and most of the people can get job in these sectors that is the number six construction sectors guys and over here 6300 job openings are there and most of the jobs are in the carpenter construction managers construction trade helpers and laborers home building and innovation managers contractors and the supervisors guys so construction is also we can consider that the good competitive sectors for the future jobs in the saskatchewan guys uh, but what about the other sectors and what is the condition of the other sectors for the job market for the future uh, based on this forecast report guys then i can say that you can see over here in this figure guys that there are so many sectors still are there but the number of job openings are less compared to this top five or six sectors guys so let me talk about some of the sectors in which i think so many students are interested that is uh, manufacturing sectors having almost uh, like 5500 uh, job openings because the expansion is not huge expansion is little only but the replacement is a uh, good amount so we can expect around 5500 job openings in this manufacturing sectors guys uh, another is finance and the insurance real estate and leasing sectors over here also the same condition uh, one more thing is that uh, utility sector most of the power electrical and electronic engineering jobs are there uh, so in the utility sector the expansion is very very less but the replacement is good amount so we can expect like 1100 job openings over there uh, next is mining oil and gas forestry and the fishing so uh, we have data combining four of these sectors and we can say that the expansion is not there but the contract contraction of these sectors are more so because of the contractions uh, the job openings are very less and so job openings are going to be available in the future is because of the replacement only and combination of these four sectors we can say 700 jobs are there which is very less for the saskatchewan because uh, mining there are almost like 25 minings are here as far as i know in the saskatchewan and the saskatchewan is the highest producer of the potas in the world so if we focus on that then we can say that the number of job openings are less but still if you can find a job in these sectors especially in the mining sectors there are lot of opportunities to make your career in that sectors sectors guys
ओके गाइज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द जॉब ओपनिंग बेस्ड ऑन द ऑक्यूपेशनल ग्रुप गाइज सो यू कैन सी इन द ग्राफ दैट द जॉब ओपनिंग इन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशन एंड वी कैन से दैट इफ वी चेक द जॉब ओपनिंग बेस्ड ऑन दिस फोरकास्ट बेस्ड ऑन द ऑक्यूपेशनल ग्रुप दैन वी कैन से दैट द सेल्स एंड द सर्विस ऑक्यूपेशन इज द टॉप मोस्ट ऑक्यूपेशन एंड दैन द ट्रेड एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दैन बिजनेस एंड फाइनेंस दैन एजुकेशन एंड द गवर्नमेंट एंड द नेचुरल रिसोर्सिस then agriculture and the healthcare sectors guys and natural and the applied sciences manufacturing and the utilities art culture recreation and sports and senior management are the we can say that the list sectors over here list occupations over here uh, we cannot say like a list but the job openings are less compared to the top 5 or 6 occupational group so based on this you can have an idea about based on your occupation what are the chances to get job in the saskatchewan for at least up to 2023 okay guys let's talk about the forecast job openings by the education and the skill level based on this report if we see in the graph that we can say that 10% of the job openings are there for the less than high school education or on job training kind of a person 19% of jobs are there for the management level 14% of jobs are there for the university degree and for the high school occupation specific training 28% jobs and the post secondary diploma or certification training 29% of the jobs are there guys so over here i want you guys to focus on the high school occupation and specific training and the post secondary diploma and the certification training guys 28 and 29% of job openings are there guys so actually both of this uh, educational department we can consider that the this this is from the educational institution that is college and from the university we can consider that the management that is 19% and the university degree that is 14% both of these educational things are related to the university we can consider guys so over here the clear picture is that more number of jobs are there for the college uh, the college pass out and the somewhat less number of jobs are there for the university degree holder or the management degree holder compared to the uh, this high school and the post secondary uh, or the certification or the diploma uh, educational persons guys now uh, it doesn't mean that the college these are like uh, good and the universities are not so good if you want to have a clear picture about this and uh, if you are confused about which institution is good for you college or the university then i suggest that you should watch my first video that is in the academia series that is university versus college in that video guys you are going to get the full details about uh, what is actually the meaning of the college and what is actually the meaning of the university in the canada so in that video i have defined based on the design of the program what is the meaning of the college and what is the meaning of the university so watch that video so you have seen this graph you will have so many clear idea if you watch that video after this video guys so the link of that video is over here in the cue card guys so please do watch that video full and also at the end of this video i am going to give you some more detail about this topic so watch this video full guys okay guys 98200 jobs are enough or not to know that i did one statistical analysis for that i want you to focus on this graph guys i have checked the statistical data of the immigrants coming every year in the saskatchewan and based on that this data i can say that from 2019 to before if you consider the last 5 years of numbers how many number of immigrants came in last 5 years that is from 2019 to before then i can say that 69753 numbers of immigrants came here before that if we consider 5 years before that then it is around 48353 numbers of immigrant and before that it's 17521 number of immigrants came here so from data guys i can say that 
in last five years every year almost around 15,000 to 14,000 immigrants are coming here in the Saskatchewan and if we focus on the next five years then I can say that uh, it is going to increase for sure so as per my prediction from 2019 to 2023 almost till 60,000 to 70,000 immigrants are going to come maybe more than that but for sure not less than that guys so based on this data guys I can say that in my opinion 98,200 jobs are not going to be enough because most of these jobs are in the trades transportation agriculture healthcare and the education sectors not so much in the technical sectors and in my opinion most of the immigrants coming over here are in the technical sectors that is engineering or uh, something like a technical related to machine operating or something so in my opinion it is going to be highly uh, competitive market in the coming years uh, okay guys so i'm going to give you some of my opinions uh, that will help you to decide what you should do uh, if you are planning for the saskatchewan or if you are in the saskatchewan guys so first opinion is that if you are in the healthcare sector or agriculture sectors saskatchewan will definitely going to offer you the lot of opportunities so i think this is the good place for that the second is if you are sales and service related person if you are having a past experience in the sales or services uh, saskatchewan have a lot of opportunities for you because as per the occupations in demand sales and the service occupation is the highest on demand uh, occupation uh, for coming years in the saskatchewan guys number three is that if you are a business student then u of r and uh, university of saskatchewan and university of regina uh, have a really good uh, programs for the business students and uh, actually the business students and the business department business programs are organized very well i can say that the, these programs are really reputed and uh, these programs are having a more value compared to the technical programs that is engineering and uh, applied science or whatever uh, but the business is always a reputed uh, branch over here so if you are in the business uh, this place will give you uh, good chances to pursue your career uh, for sure guys uh, then then the fourth is if you are a technical student uh, if you are in college or university doing your uh, engineering or something related courses then i can suggest that give try to give your best try to go get the co-op try to get the uh, i can say internship so while you are studying give your full effort efforts to get a job so it will be helpful for you after you finish your uh, ed education guys because if you don't get a co-op or internship it will be really competitive market to get a job in the field guys fifth point that i am going to tell you is master student if you are doing your masters in technical field masters of engineering or something try your best to get a co-op because that is the key to pursue the career in a in your field because if you don't get the co-op i think it is competitive market to get the job in the in your field uh, so what i will suggest is try to try for the co-op or the internship while you are pursuing your masters if you don't get a uh, do job or something or wait for the pr or something but then try to go for the phd uh, because once you complete the phd you can enter easily into the education sectors and as we have seen based on this forecast i can say that the education sectors are also having a lot of opportunity so maybe if you do the phd or something you can directly uh, settle in the university as the researcher or something so that's all these are the top five opinion uh, from me uh, based on my study and analysis uh, based on this uh, forecast report from the saskatchewan ministry or saskatchewan government guys so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video guys and if uh, and you got the really good amount of in information from this video guys also do consider watch my academia series my uh, ground report series and my 
uh, immigrant sustainability series videos guys that will give you definitely the good amount of information you can find out the playlist uh, of all these videos guys so do check in the playlist section playlist section guys uh, also if you want to contact me all my social media links are in the description box below all the other information related to saskatchewan are in the description box below guys and also uh, if you want to be the part of the whatsapp group then message me on the instagram i will add you in the uh, whatsapp group follow me on the instagram so that you will get a daily update of what is going on in the saskatchewan and the job market and etc etc in my instagram guys uh, also support me on the patreon.com uh, the link is in the description box below guys i will see you in the next video till then you take care my friends and bye bye